Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us for a very special Up to Speed Live. I'm here in our Basking Ridge, New Jersey headquarters. And behind me, of course, these men need no introductions. We have Hans, we have Guru. Uh, let's get started. We had some big news to talk about here, of course. So I'm going to head over to my workstation and make sure that uh, I'm monitoring for questions. Uh, our V-teamers, I'm sure, have questions about this morning's news. Um, so go ahead and email us. Live at Verizon.com is the email. I'll take a look at that. Um, but once again, a, a very special Up to Speed Live where we break down um, our big morning news this, uh, this morning. And uh, before we get to that, though, I know that Hans and Guru wanted to uh, acknowledge and talk a little bit about um, the news that we've been uh, covering uh, since uh, last week uh, with Christy. And of course, that's uh, what's happening over in India. Of course, our thoughts and our prayers are with them. So Hans, with that, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Andy. And hi, all the V-teamers out there. Uh, no, I, you know, I, I, we have some other stuff to talk about, but I, I wanted to uh, uh, come back to a little bit what we have seen the last couple of months here and weeks, that COVID has not gone away. The pandemic is still here, and it hits on different regions and different places at different times. Uh, and uh, we as a company just need to continue to uh, see uh, the safety and the health of, of our employees and their families is, is uh, top of our list and that will continue. And, and now we see uh, a surge in India that is really impacting a lot of our employees and their families. And, and uh, Christy was here on Friday, I think, on Up to Speed, talked about what we're doing, how, everything we try to do to help in that situation that is so critical at the moment for uh, the employees and, and all of that, and uh, we, including our donation that we're doing. We will continue to be close to India and whatever other market that is having a high impact on the COVID right now. But uh, I caution all of us, we still have a pandemic out there, and uh, uh, important is that we uh, continue continue to follow our uh, safety and uh, uh, rules and principles that we have. But uh, right now our, our th thoughts are with our colleagues and friends in India and uh, what's impacting there and we're going to do everything to help them. And I know that uh, Guru both have a personal relationship with India but you also have a lot of employees there. Uh, and and uh, not sure how you see it right now. No, thanks Hans, uh, uh, first of all for, for acknowledging it and also what uh, Christy and you are doing for the employees and families back in India. Uh, I would just say, look, my family is in India, my parents and, and pretty much uh, everyone else is there and it's definitely not a good situation um, and, and for a lot of us I know there are a lot of people here in the US uh, who have families back in India or our employees Verizon media employees the broader Verizon employees uh, it's tough state but we are here to support you I think do whatever you can if you're here uh, I know we've donated money and oxygen and everything that's happening but I think the key is to be there and be strong and as Hans said code is not over so for every Everybody to be very, very careful, being mindful, and reach out to us. I think Christy has put together an amazing plan, what we're doing for employees. It's amazing that we stand up there to support them, but we also need to stand up there to give them strength and get through this. Next two months will be intense and crazy, uh, but I know we'll get through this. Thank you, and, uh, and thank you to you and all the support you are giving to the teams and what else we need to do, we will do it for sure. Um, but Coming to the other topic that we had here today, of course, this morning uh, we announced that, uh, uh, that Apollo uh, is entering an agreement with Verizon to buy Verizon Media Group. Uh, let me start going back in time just to put the context of this. So in uh, August 2018, uh, Guru and I sat down. Guru was the new head of, uh, uh, or starting as a new head of Verizon Media Group, and I was starting as CEO. We were thinking where we're going to take this uh, fantastic asset of Verizon Media Group. Uh, we outlined several uh, different steps, uh, several steps that you have seen in the company all the way from being more efficient to productify, combining assets, uh, making scale uh, and uh, creating fantastic products that uh, uh, our customers love. Uh, that was the plan and, and uh, ultimately at the end of that line we, we wanted to create optionality. Uh, an optionality, what we do from here. How do we scale this and going forward? 
Uh, I think that somewhere in the beginning of last year, we, we knew that we were close to that optionality. We had combined a lot of our ad tech. We had uh, done great with our uh, own and operated uh, assets, and uh, we started to get some inbound questions about it. Uh, is this the right way to take it to the next step? And, and that's how we, how we actually moved this forward. And uh, during the latter part of 20, we had discussion with a different type of uh, companies. Uh, it intensified at the latter part of last year, and uh, of course in this year, and it crystallized that uh, the company that actually could uh, support Verizon Media Group in the best way, they had a vision and they had a strategy to take this to the next step, and, and actually seeing that they can unleash some of the uh, uh, fantastic assets we have. And uh, they also met a lot of our uh, requirement uh, of, uh, of seeing that their employees and the entities fully uh, moved over and will continue. Uh, but also that we could keep 10% uh, uh, share in the Verizon Media Group and continue with it. So uh, we, we are excited for it. We're excited for all our share stakeholders for this next step for Verizon Media Group and how this will uh, create more opportunities and uh, more excitement for Verizon Media Group and being able to take the next step, step of growth, as we have talked about all the time. So, it makes sense for all of us. Uh, it's uh, as I uh, wrote in my letter to all the V team this morning. Of course, it's a bit sweet. I mean, uh, the, we have worked so close. We will continue to work close, of course. But it, it's been, of course, a, a great relationship with the whole Verizon Media Group over this year. And now they're moving on. Uh, it's going to take some time with, until this is closed. So I always caution you guys: we need to execute and execute and execute. We have the strategy in front of us, so, uh, and uh, that Guru and his team has uh, decided, and that, that's no change to that. So we have the, that time, and it will take some four to six months to close this. So that's when we need to discuss, uh, continue to execute. But all in all, I think this is a, a great next step uh, for all stakeholders, including for Verizon, for Verizon Media Group, uh, for our employees, for, for our shareholders, and for our customers, because we will now be able, or Guru and his team will be able to continue to develop uh, the products. And uh, uh, together with uh, Apollo, that has uh, multiple other assets and companies that can support that growth and uh, combine and, and strengthen them. So, yeah, it, it is a, a great day. Uh, we have announced this this morning. A lot of outreach to customers, partners. Both Guru and I have talked to a lot of partners and customers uh, and told them about uh, how this is impacting them. And mainly it's nothing. It's basically that uh, we're gone and this is just going to be a great opportunity for all of us. It's been a busy morning for both of you. Uh, we thank you for joining us uh, on Up to Speed as expected, Hans. Uh, we're getting uh, lots of questions from our V-teamers in the live inbox. And we'll get to those questions in just a bit. But Guru, I just want to... Um, touch upon some of your thoughts uh, this morning uh, and obviously it, you've met with uh, the media team the employees yeah. and, and address them talk to them about everything that they need to know of course before this webcast uh, but tell us about uh, what it means what this day uh, marks for you in terms of significance I know we've spent the last few earnings calls you know congratulating uh, the media team for such a, such a job well done talk to us about what this day one this new chapter means for you you know I'll tell you a huge milestone and 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 back to what Hans said, I think there are two things you don't get to do often in many companies in our life. One is you don't set a plan up front and you can stay on this day and look back, Hans's point, two and a half years plus, and say, we had thought about this yeah. way back in terms of creating that optionality and, and going through that. Two is very rarely you stick to that plan and execute and you look back to the last two quarters of growth and what we've done. It all comes to, I think, what Hans has said as a leadership coming to that and being bold, investing in the foundation to create something that's creating this massive optionality. And I would say that's led to this piece where now, uh, what I mentioned earlier during our leadership uh, call, is we are off the training wheels. We've had the Verizon Foundation to help us to get this place. Now it's time to make this 10x. And it doesn't, uh, Verizon still is part of that with ownership and a lot of the partnership work we will do. So I feel you know, beyond excited, I think it's going to be a, a fun next phase. Uh, I want to thank all the employees. I mean, 10,000 plus Verizon Media employees, and I would say the broader Verizon employee base and everybody who supported us through this journey. Uh, we couldn't have gotten here without that. And I also think Apollo, uh, with what Hans mentioned, I mean, they have 150 companies in their portfolio, all the way from ADT, uh, Michaels, to betting companies they've invested in, all of that. That only amplifies a lot of this journey 
money in, in a much more aggressive way. So it gives us scale, gives us more growth, and I think we can execute more consistently in that new form. So all in all, excited. I think it's going to be a fun journey. It's going to be a great new chapter here. And Guru, I'll stay with you with the questions here. We have a couple questions. Uh, we have one from Melanie and Anthony, essentially asking the same question about the 10% interest for Verizon. Um, how, will, uh, how will Verizon's 10% interest in Yahoo continue to add value to the bottom line for both, for Verizon and Yahoo? I think two, two different ways, and Hans can comment too. One is we scale, I would say from a call it value perspective. We're hoping Yahoo ecosystem becomes, whatever its value today, it becomes 10x tomorrow. That means 10% grows and becomes something bigger. Two, when you have uh, an interest this way, it's in benefit of Verizon to partner as well because now our success means Verizon success and even our success means Verizon success. Both connect really well. I think those two ways means that our partnership will continue in a lot of strategic areas. Let that be ad platform yeah. investment. A lot of the things we do with sports leagues, all of those will continue. And I think what Hans is going to look at me and said, make sure you grow this value. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> but, but I think more is also so that it was a, a, an interest for all parties. I mean, uh, Verizon Media Group, uh, the buyer and, uh, and the seller. All of us thought it was a good idea for us to stay in there, to be both a partner of it. But we also want to see the growth that is coming from the next uh, level of uh, Verizon Media Group. So all in all, I think uh, this is uh, also uh, showing that we want to be connected to Verizon Media Group when this uh, transaction is over. We want to be part of it and, and see how they develop. And we also want to learn from each other. It's been so many learnings and how we have uh, strengthened both of our organization when it comes to Verizon Media Group, consumer group, and, and business group, learning from each other uh, with the expertise at Verizon Media Group and the expertise that the other groups have bringing to them. And is, that, that's been a fantastic learning from all of us. And uh, we want to keep that flywheel to continue. And uh, with the 10%, we're always going to be there and, uh, and be supportive and, and uh, help it because it's going to benefit all of us. And staying on the topic of support, Hans, let's, let's talk about, obviously, Apollo's bringing uh, quite a bit of strength uh, to our strength. Um, we have partnered with some very strong companies like uh, Disney, Discovery. Uh, talk to us about, um, do, does this affect those partnerships at all? No, in general not. It, it, we will continue to work as a, as a combination and, and, and we usually have that uh, sort of setup and we, where, where part of the, the delivery to the customer is coming from Verizon Media Group and then it can be consumer group or business group. But all in all, we want to confront the customer so it makes it easy and we will continue to do that because if that's the customer how want to see us because in many places, especially with the sports league, we, our offering is a combination of, of, our, of our assets and we will continue to do that. And uh, I think that as long as it's a benefit for our customers, we will continue to do it. Excellent. Uh, Guru, um, wanted to ask you about uh, real estate. You know, obviously that's a, yeah, corporate real estate is a topic that uh, just about every company is talking about these days <laughs> coming out of the pandemic. Uh, but talk to us about specifically for the media group team, uh, where does real estate stand? Uh, you know, I would say we've solved, I would say we have 70% of the plan done in terms of what we want to do. The rest, as Hans mentioned, between signing and closing, a lot of the details will get hashed out. A couple of examples I'll give, uh, take San Jose, which is our new office office for Sunnyvale location that's on schedule to you know for us to move in end of this year it's going to be you know our home there in, in the Bay Area that'll happen London as an example we co-located so the way we'll do it is you know different floors you know Verizon Media or Yahoo at that point yeah. and then Verizon uh, the same in New York I think we will have our office where we are right now so so a lot of those things have been planned out the good news is we will have a location a lot of it what we have existing and the places the edge cases where we may not in some way, we'll make sure we are working on a plan for that. But we are there 70%. But then we need that, Andy, that we are in work forward world where yes. uh, Christy has explained that we're running pilots for all of us because we are in new how we're going to deal with uh, administration offices or, or in, in general. Uh, so that will probably continue in a, in a good partnership. What is the best model for the future, which is we have not defined any of us yet. Yeah, what I see is really like acceleration on, on both fronts here. We have Yahoo and Apollo, you know, making sure they're moving forward. And then we talk about sort of our, our core strengths and that's yeah. the network. So Hans, tell us about what that means in terms of our, our strength in that category. 
Now, I think our strategy is very clear. We have a network of service and we work on top of that uh, to see that our customer getting the best solutions and we want to scale platform as, as good we can uh, in the best way we can. And, uh, and in general, for us, of course, this means that we are even going to be more focused to delight our customer in that. Uh, and uh, we can prioritize our investments there. Uh, and uh, Verizon Media Group going to have an owner that's going to prioritize investment only for Verizon Media Group. So I think it, it's just clarify even clearer for us how we continue to, to execute on our, on our strategy that we've laid out with 5G and the five vectors of growth and all of that will just continue. Uh, so in, in general, it fortifies where we want to invest in the network. Uh, and in the five vectors for growth. And uh, uh, some of you might remember what I said in the beginning of the year, growth, 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 is the three words we're using right now. We have built this company uh, the last couple of years in order to get, get that fundament. And uh, we have committed to our shareholders to growth this year. We had a great growth in the first quarter. It's a lot left. And I look at Guru as well. He's here and his team is here and they're going to continue. So, uh, uh, so that, that, that is really fortifying our strategy that we laid out in Verizon 2. At all. Wonderful. And, and Guru, when we think about growth, we're, we're of course thinking about everybody in the company here growing together, and that does not change with this announcement, of course. But transitions are always, you know, there's always going to be ways that we can help strengthen that. So uh, for this entire V team, Guru, uh, what does VMG need from us to help support and lead uh, in this transition? I, I would say, you know, I, I don't think anything changes from the past in terms of helping us. Uh, you know, stay focused. Uh, I've said this before, our mission hasn't changed. And as you think about Verizon wide, creating networks that move the world forward, we think about VMG as connecting people to their passion. I think that mission gets amplified in this world. And I would just say for the broader teams, if there are partnerships you're working on together, be supportive. Uh, it, it, it's not like two different families, it's still one family yeah. in many ways connected, yeah. but help each other out to scale this further. Uh, I think keep focus. I think we have a very important quarter this quarter. We're going to go into another quarter. What we do rest of the year is going to be so important that we execute. And our job as leaders, Hans, me, and the rest of the management team, is to make sure employees feel that safety and they're like very focused. And we've done that. I think part of yeah. the deal, we've really taken care of the employees as well. So everybody should feel very good. Fantastic. Uh, we are coming up on 20 minutes here as we wrap up. Uh, I, I do want to end on a question. Of course, there's so many specific questions that, of course, more of that will, as we develop and share, we'll, we'll share with more. And, of course, go on to, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the intranet uh, sites there, the street for Verizon Media, uh, as well as VZ Web here for us on Verizon. Uh, there's a question here, Hans. It's very, uh, it's very much like your dinner table question. Uh -huh. This is from Charles. Uh, what are the top three things V-teamers should take away from today's announcement regarding the sale of the media group? And we'll extend that question to you too, Guru. <laughs> I think that the three things you should take away that uh, uh, number one, uh, we are fortifying the strategy of Verizon. Number two, we, this uh, deal we're doing today is actually positively impacting all our stakeholders. And that's what we thought about from the beginning is that for the employees, our own employees and the employees of Verizon Media Group, uh, uh, of course, the customers, because we're going to be even more focused for delivering to them, the shareholders uh, and society because we suddenly we can we can be much further out. So I think those are the two main messages. Uh, and then the, the third one is, of course, grow, grow, grow. That's where we're in. This is a strategy this year. So uh, it's going to be a simple conversation, but it could be very long. That's how it is. Yes. Uh, Guru, we're going to visit your dinner table now. Yes. Uh, what are the three I, things I think, we should do? Uh... I, I think I wish I could steal all of what Han said, but I'll take. <laughs> you cannot. Uh, yeah, I cannot. I, I just realized. <laughs> I, I would say the first thing is a massive milestone. Yep. I think stop at the dinner table, do a toast, cheer, saying the work we put in last two and a half years, three years, what Hans has led, and what each one of the, you know, I'll call it V Teamer and the Verizon Media employees have done. You stop and smell the roses. I think it's time to do that. Do that at the dinner table. Be happy, sit back, take a breath in, yeah. do the toast. I think the second piece I would say, this is an opportunity for us to grow 10x, go from where we are right now. This gives us that opportunity where we can take that, amplify the mission, scale that, and accelerate a lot of those things. So talk about that. The strategy is already there. The mission is already there. It's all about execution, how we take to the next level. I think the third key message, I keep talking about removing of the training rules. I also think I was thinking about an analogy, which is this is like kids going to college. 
from home, right? It's it's really, we've been trained. Now it's time to go and <laughs> get A plus whatever, 4.0 GPA. I think this is the time. So it's emotional. I think Hans I don't, I don't want to think about in that analogy, who am I in that moment? But yeah, I leave it, I leave it, I leave it. <laughs> uh, but but I think I think the, the key is, you know, it is bittersweet moment for me personally. Yeah. You know, you and Esther, when we were talking, you know, you had a little bit of tears and you think about it. But the reality is you're not going far away. You're creating something bigger and we should be proud of that. So that, that would be my three things. No, you should be very proud of that. And I think that the whole Verizon Media Group, you know, as I said in the beginning, has been executing the plan that we discussed uh, in uh, August, September of 2018. We executed on and uh, that gave, gave us this optionality to take a next step and, and to accelerate its growth in, uh, in, in, a, in another environment. Uh, so no, uh, we have to be proud of what we have achieved with this. And uh, I, I thank all the Verizon Media Group uh, employees for a fantastic job and still some to be worked here because we're not closed yet. But uh, or uh, so so. But thanking you all, including you, Guru. Thank you. Lots happening there, and of course, uh, yes, in the next few months, sir, we will continue to update uh, on this uh, new yeah. chapter. And uh, stealing from your college, uh, uh, you know, your college comparison, Guru, I mean, the 10% state means you can come back and do laundry, you know, so, <laughs> exactly. so that you, as many college kids uh, do. Black you know, okay. so. That's what exactly what, what I was thought, thinking when he was talking about, so I'm not sure that really works. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there are really good smart laundry machines. There you here, go, so. there you go. And they're 5D there, enabled. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but once again, I mean, our, we, you know, on behalf of our Up to Speed team, we just thank you for sharing all those great stories and we'll continue to share, of course, and, and, and do great uh, work together. And, and as Hans, you, as you mentioned, grow, grow, grow. That's what it's all about. Um, lots of questions here in the inbox, we'll, which we'll collect and uh, deliver uh, to our teams uh, who can help answer these yep. questions. But I uh, want to just uh, say thank you to both of you. Uh, and of course, thank you to everyone uh, watching Up to Speed. We'll have uh, more all this week for you. Uh, but until next time. You're up to speed.